Hey guys, Garth Harris here with Cake, and thank you so much for joining this training video on the user interface basics. Now there's a few things I'd like to mention before we get started. First, I'm on a MacBook Pro 13 inch screen, so if you're using a different size screen, just keep that in mind as a, as a point of reference. Um, secondly, I'm in a demo environment, and our demo environment has everything turned on. So if you don't see something in your system, um, feel free to reach out to an account manager or a tech support rep or even your sales rep and ask, hey, how come I don't see that thing in my system? I'd like to understand more about it. Uh, and lastly, as I go through the user interface, there's a lot of tabs. I'm going to be highlighting just a few things here and there that are um, special callouts that I think you should know just from a basics point of view. All right, let's get started. On the left hand side here, we have our main tabs and the main tabs will relate to over on the right hand side, the sub tabs. So I'm in the advertiser's main tab right now and I think the important sub tabs to take note of, well first and foremost, we have our stats tab. That's where you can get reports related to advertisers. You can pull up offers and campaigns. Also, the advertiser sub tab is where you're gonna find the advertiser grid. This is where you can find a list of all of your advertisers. Um, also in the advertiser main tab, you're going to find a list of offers. So as you go into your system and you're adding new offers, the offers grid is a great place to pull up all of your available offers, whether they're active or interactive. Okay. Um, as I click on the affiliates main tab, you'll know that the sub tabs off to the right hand side have now updated. So once this loads here, we'll see a new set of sub tabs that relate to the, uh, the affiliates uh, main tab. So within the affiliates main tab, the stats sub tab is obviously very important. This is where you're gonna find a lot of your reports related to affiliates. Um, the affiliate sub tab is where you're gonna find the affiliates grid. Um, this is where you can pull up any of your affiliates, like I mentioned, active or inactive. You can also add new affiliates from here as well. Uh, and then you also you can see um, pending and applied campaigns from your affiliates, which is good to know. We won't go into too much detail on that. We'll actually do that on other relevant videos. All right, so we have main tabs and sub tabs. Now right above the sub tab here, we have our search engine. And the search engine is one of the most powerful features of our entire platform. This is where you can search for anything from affiliates to offers to advertisers, creatives, even individual conversions. So just to keep it simple, I'm gonna type in one, two, three, hit enter, and you'll see that the search results bring up a little bit of everything that relate to that as a name or an ID. So if I wanna hone in my search results to just one particular thing, I can actually click on this menu off to the left hand side and say, just show me affiliates with one, two, three. And it looks like we found one that had the ID of one, two, three. All right, let me close out of that. On the right hand side, these three dots, that's actually our action menu. The action menu is where you're gonna find a lot of our wizards, where you can add a lot of new entities to the platform. So if I wanna add a new offer or add a new campaign, um, you're gonna find a lot of our tools in this action menu as well. So we put a lot of the commonly used wizards and tools right here in the action menu. So it doesn't matter where you are on the platform, you can always access our action menu. Um, let me just give you a quick example of what it looks like to add a new affiliate to show off our wizards. So wizards, like I mentioned, is how we add new things to Cake. So if I'm gonna add a new affiliate, I'd fill out the wizard, click next, until it brings me to a preview screen, and then I would hit finish, and then it would pop open that card. So I'm actually gonna open up a card for you so you can see what that looks like. So I'm gonna open up an affiliate card. And this is how we organize all of our objects in the platform. So advertisers, offers, affiliates, they all get cards. And the cool thing about cards is that I can actually multitask by opening up multiple cards at one time. So you're gonna find yourself working with lots of different cards. And at some point, if you get overwhelmed with too many cards, instead of it having to X out of them, I can actually click this little button here and that will close down all the cards, which is really simple. It kind of cleans the slate a little bit. Okay, then go ahead and close the action menu. On the bottom left here where it shows my name, when you log in, you'll see your name there. And when I click on that, that's where I can actually open up my contact card and change my password if I want to. It's also a great place to access our knowledge base, submit a support ticket, or even call support. Um, just remember when you do call support, whether through our US line or our international line, just remember that you'll need your PIN. The PIN is how you access support. It validates that you're a client. Um, so just keep that in mind as you dial our support number. All right. Now, as I go to the setup tab, one of the important sub tabs within setup is gonna be our verticals. 
Now verticals are a part of the building blocks of Cake, and I just wanna make sure you guys are aware that this is where you access verticals within the setup tab. All right, so verticals is a good call out there. Um, next is our alerts. Alerts is a great other tab for you to be aware of. This is where I can actually build custom alerts that can get triggered for lots of different things in the platform. So if I have an affiliate who applied for a new campaign, I can sign up for an alert. Cake will actually send me an email saying, hey, affiliate123 has signed up for a new campaign. Would you like to review it, approve it, et cetera? So there's lots of alerts for lots of different things. Um, so feel free to reach out to your account manager to find out more about those or reference our knowledge base. All right. Now, lastly, our global settings. This is where you can update lots of things like your email settings, tracking settings, affiliate portal settings. Um, we also can update our custom appearance. So if you're a new client and you're watching this video, this is where I can change my color scheme or update a logo just to kind of complete that white labeling. All right, last but not least, because I'm on a smaller screen, oftentimes I like to click this icon right here. It actually pushes the main tabs off to the left-hand side so I get more real estate from the screen. Now, if you ever forget what these logos are, just do a little quick hover over and you'll actually find that they'll tell you what they are, which is nice. But otherwise, you can always just click this and it will bring back the main tabs if you ever forget what they are. All right, that wraps up the video. Thank you so much for watching.